Tarvok. A routine fume and zoom. Routine. The Roughnecks barely made it out alive. Other units didn't. What everyone needed now was a good long rest. Yes, sir. Lock coordinates. Of course, a grunt's needs weren't very high on command's list of priorities. What's this supposed to prove? It's a second generation mutation of toxin V3. It attacks a bug from the inside out, with fairly consistent results. At the moment, though, it's highly unstable. And let me guess, not available in stores. Unfortunately, we obtained a tiny sample of a meteorite originating in the Virgus group. There's a science vessel en route now. Why do you need troops? Our scans suggest no reason to expect trouble, but it would be prudent to have backup just in case. Do we have any ships in the vicinity? You win. Bath first, then the stakes. And then another bath. Listen up, apes. Command's decided to reward our recent efforts with a little road trip. Seems a bunch of scientists are holding a treasure hunt on an asteroid named Clovis Truffaut, and they want us to join the fun. We've touched down on Clovis Truffaut. No complications, over. Roger, Sequoia. Zephyr is locked on your signal. Anticipate landing in, uh, Major? Six minutes. Any advisories for approach? Over. Negative, Zephyr. We'll let you know when we have you on visual. Over and out. Report? I've lost Sequoia's signal, and I found this. Is that our asteroid? Gotta be. Is that a rash? Got allergy shots for 10 years. Have a theory? Something nasty must have laid its eggs on his skin back on Carvac. Is he gonna be okay? Sure. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Sorry, nothing. You got us down here in one piece. What's the word on our flying friends? They didn't react well to the tetrachloride in that fire extinguisher. Unfortunately, there's not much left to analyze. The ship seems clean. Can't speak for the ones that got sucked out of the airlock. Wonderful. A planetary eco infiltration. You have to live, Xander, because you're doing the paperwork. I don't think the newbies are going to like it much out there. Neither are we. Trace atmosphere, unbreathable. Surface temperature, a balmy minus 116 degrees Celsius. Welcome to paradise. Come on, baby. Minor damage to exterior systems. Nothing irreparable. But the recycling unit's not in great shape in our fuel cell's history. Which means we're going nowhere on our own. Let's raise the Sequoia and let them know where things stand. Uh, that's the bad news. 
comlinks down, way down. Local communications are marginal. Long range, maybe we can receive, but we won't be transmitting. Well, it's a small asteroid. Even a pack of lab rats should be able to find us. Not if we find them first. Three teams. Doc, you okay leaving Xander? I'm fine. You heard him. Bruto, you and Tafai. Rico and Ibanez. Lieutenant! You're staying with the Zephyr. Gossard, Higgins, too. Uh, sir! Flores, command lesson 64. Leave a top soldier with the ship. And when Gossard starts on repairs, I imagine he'll need some help with the heavy lifting. Clear? Yes, sir. Rendezvous here by sundown. Fine. Back here at 0800. Sequoia or no Sequoia? Small asteroid, huh? Shut up. Blue Team, this is Red Leader. Your 411, over. Red Leader, this is Blue Team. No Sequoia. But if you want ice, over. Roger that, Blue Team. Keep an eye peeled. If you see anything, give me a shout. Looks like it's just you and me, kid. What's next? Your car gonna mysteriously run out of gas? I'm not letting you sneak off to that frat party down the hill. Some people would be happy not to be traipsing around in nine feet of snow. Maybe if you're not too busy sulking, you can help me sort through the spare gear in the cargo bay. Des. Xander, you're looking good. Des. You have to check the thruster assemblies. There might be leakage. Shh, sh Xander. You need to rest. Thank you, Diz. Hey, you're the hero. Uh, Diz, I could use a hand with all that stuff he's talking about. Uh, hey! Felt like a quake. What were we gonna do? Shoot it? broken. Oh, my ankle's twisted, I think. Nothing serious. You, however, are seriously messed up. Some people might see trying to save their life as a noble gesture. I'm not some people. I'm a soldier. So are you. I don't look at you that way, Carmen. I can't. Well, you better start. There's no place for your emotions out here. They'll get us both killed. So how are we gonna break out of this igloo? Shoot our way out. There must be 50 kilotons of frozen water on top of us. Then I better get started. Red Leader, this is Blue Team. Come in, Red Leader. We have a problem. Any reception? Not a peep. Which suggests the equipment is not the problem. Look! Company! Gotta watch out for those fireflies. Ah! Fire fries! That thing burned right through my glove! Three sunsets in two hours, and I get stuck watching them with a seven-foot alien. Then, for you too, the sunset is considered... romantic. Don't get any ideas. Something moving down there. The Sequoia crew? Could be, but I'm not quite ready to give a friendly wave. 
Red Leader, this is Green Team. Come in. Over. Green Team, this is Red Leader. No sign of the Sequoia, but this rock ain't dead. We got bugs or something. Big ones. How many? 20, man. Don't move. Wait for backup before you move in. Repeat orders. Over. Don't. Wait. Move. Red Leader. Red Leader, come in. I'm losing you, Red Leader. We're going in for a closer look. Is that wise? Lieutenant's orders, I think. Rico, hold your fire. What's the problem? By the time we blast your way through, we're going to be frozen in place. Try to move. You're trembling. So are you. Maybe that quake shook something loose. Sequoia, this is Zephyr. Do you copy? According to the analysis from the Valley Forge, there shouldn't be seismic activity on this asteroid. Blue team, do you read me? Question, how come I'm not extra crispy? Power suit can withstand more heat than anything that lives in a place like this. Rico! 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 Keep it down, I'm trying to grab some shut eye here. Rico! What are you doing? I'm trying to use your laser to send up a flare. They have to be looking for us by now. Hold off. You're almost out of juice, and the laser will show up better once it's dark. I refuse to die in such a stupid way. You know such thing as a smart way. Nothing from Rico and Ibanez? Or the Sequoia. do you have? Ten rounds. There's too many of them. We're gonna have to hot-foot it. We will die. Mr. Negativity! We have this situation under control. One charge left. 
If they don't see it this time, they'll see it. thinks they're our little stowaways. They must be eating well. Rico and Carmen! If we make a sortie, we'll bring the bugs right along with us. Solo go. You can keep the fries occupied. Go! Join the party. Either the data from the Sequoia and the Valley Forge scan was completely off. My vote. Or the asteroid has undergone a complete transformation since the scientists took their readings. Whatever trouble we're in, the Sequoia must have it worse. We're supposed to be here protecting them. Valley Forge, this is Sequoia. Still no trace of the toxin and no contact from the Zephyr. Sequoia, come in. This is Zephyr. Repeat, this is Zephyr. Valley Forge. Valley Forge. Sequoia. I think we've landed on the wrong asteroid. That's impossible. We were locked onto the coordinates when we crashed. True. But if another body intercepted Clovis Truffaut's orbit... Great. We're on the wrong stinking rock? No chance of flying out of here? Not without a fuel cell. Then is there any way to get this thing transmitting properly? Any other alternatives? If I had some selenium to augment the generator cell, I might be able to boost power. Doc's been doing a remote scan. Any luck? Well, no trace of selenium, but I'll tell you what I did find. Toxin B3. The stuff those eggheads on the Sequoia are supposed to be looking for? He just said we're on the wrong asteroid. Maybe. Well, maybe it's the Sequoia that missed their exit. All right, Roughnecks, listen up. Looks like we're all up on what we don't know, so let's work with what we do know. We're gonna be here for a while. I want everything locked down, inside, outside. We're digging in till we can figure a way to blast out. If you look up desolation in the dictionary, you'll no doubt find a picture of Razak's roughnecks, marooned on an airless, frozen rock in deep space. The result of a crash landing on an uncharted asteroid. No one knew where we were. Odds of being rescued? Slim to none. You can't fool me, Rico. I saw the way you and Carmen acted together. What are you talking about? We've just been buried by an avalanche for six hours. And doing what to pass the time, I wonder? Whoa, hold up. As for company, we'd brought along our own eggs that hatched into tiny airborne bugs. Once they made their unscheduled entrance, they liked their new home so much they quickly grew into big bugs and breathed fire. 
Main stage, this is Red Team. Come in, over. Red Team, this is Main Stage. Report, over. We got fire fries, eight of them. And they're looking down at the ship like it's a buffet. Over. Can you take them out before they invite their friends? Can do. Over and out. Well, they're smarter than they look. Still not as smart as us. Fancy shooting, Flores. Yeah, you too, Rico. What's your situation, Major? Could be better, Commander. No sign of the toxin B3 we're here to collect, and no word from our support team. Then there's no point in staying. Well, sir, we could hang on another 24 hours in case the Zephyr makes contact. Negative, Major. One squad is MIA already. Return to the Valley Forge at once. Yes, sir. Uh, we could hang on for another 24 hours. Poor babies. When you pick the wrong asteroid, Barkalo, you really pick the wrong asteroid. Lay off, Sarge. I'd rather be on the wrong asteroid in one piece than on the right one in scattered chunks. If we don't get this transmitter working before the Sequoia finishes packing up their lawn chairs, we'll be vacationing here permanently. What's the line? We're the underdogs. I can't find any selenium to boost power. But game over if I don't get moving. I could use Higgins if you think you can survive yeah. without him. Somehow we'll muddle through. Sir, if, as we believe, the reason the Sequoia is not finding Toxin B3 is because they're there and not here, shouldn't we be collecting samples? Sooner or later, the bugs will be back. I know it's risky, but it'll keep the team focused. Listen up, apes. Off your cans. Video hour's over. The scientists were supposed to be collecting a bug poison, and we were supposed to be providing protection. Instead, we were doing the collecting and praying the Sequoia would come and protect us. If we do find B3, how much are we supposed to gather? A hundred kilos. Depending on its density, that could mean one canister or fifty. If I may, Lieutenant, why are we bothering? A ton of the toxin won't do anybody any good if we die here with it. Then we'll just have to stay alive, won't we, Rico? We spot any more of those fire fries? You'll be ready, huh? I like the lights on when I get home. Whatever. <laughs> Once again, Dizzy gets to man the ship. I don't mind. How about now? Better, but we're still way under 10,000 MCZ. We won't have to worry about long distance charges this month. This rock can't seem to make up its mind. It is beautiful. And it looks like we'll be seeing a lot of it. I can't find anything on this ship conductive enough to boost our amplifier circuit. Now that is beautiful. See those three rocks sticking up? Take Diz and check out the one in the middle. If you see squarish yellow striated crystals, bring back a sample. I thought we were gonna wait and pick up souvenirs at the airport. I'm hoping that's Argonite, natural superconductor. On it. Um, Gossard, what does striated mean? radio if I need backup. Any hostiles? Couldn't see, but I'm not taking any chances. Everybody down. That ought to air the place out a bit. You hear something? I am listening to the silence. Makes me nervous, too. Those firecrackers aren't the quiet types. 
Come in main stage. This is green team. Over. Green team, this is main stage. What do you see? Over. Nothing to write home about. Any luck with the transmitter? Negative. But we might have a glimmer. Higgins and Dizzy are checking out some rocks. Possibly Argonite crystals. Over. What am I checking out? <sighs> Correction. Higgins is sampling the Argonite. Higgins? Alone? <laughs> Not alone. Higgins! Gosser, come in. I think it's what you wanted. The Argonite. We're off this iceberg! <laughs> We in the right place? Methane, trace gases, same old, same old, and... Yes, B3. Levels rising even as we speak. Cold. Cold. Getting warmer. Oh, yeah. Very warm. What are you doing with the sensor? Not a thing. <laughs> I'm thinking that first bug bomb may not have been 100% effective. Try another? I hate to be extravagant, but... Fire in the hole! 60 seconds! Let's move! some help here. I really could. No go, Lieutenant. Take cover. There is no cover. Stop. Didn't you say there was methane in here? Uh-huh. What are you doing? Methane burns cool. Figured it might fry the bugs, not us. At least not in power suits. Glad to see someone stayed awake during chemistry class. Teacher's pet. <laughs> Whoa, this is interesting. B3 levels off the scale. There's your B3. The leeches? Or something they ate. Might as well stock up while we're here. And keep shooting! No! You want to live, don't you? The rock back there! The Argonite! We'll get it later! There is no later! 
off the sequoia. It'll be gone, out of range. When did you become a hero? This is main stage, all teams. We are under attack. Urgent help required, over. Main stage, this is green team. How many hostiles, over. Too many, over. Cavalry's coming. Cavalry's arrived. Xander, you sure you're up to this? I'll take the front turret. Hurry it up, Higgins. Gossard said this stuff is delicate. We have to take whole crystals, not just shards. You want the whole crystal? Ugh. Now move! Red Leader, this is main stage. Come in, over. Red Leader, we are under attack. Do you copy, Red Leader? Over! Too many for a frontal attack. I will assess other options. Come in, main stage. This is Green Team. Over. What's keeping your Green Team? Over. You've got 40 bugs on your starboard side alone. Where's Red Leader? Over. Out of contact. Dizzy and Higgins are port side. Can you get to them? Negative. Not till we take some of this dirty laundry to the cleaners. Out. So this is why scientists get paid the big bucks. Storm's coming. Time to go. You too, Doc! Deploy lizard lines! Tie off to the cave walls! Come in. This is Red Leader. Do you read? Repeat. Do you read? Carmen. Carmen, come in. Carmen! Rico. The gravity on this rock is minimal, but the force Carmen got blasted out of here. No! Carmen, talk to me. Please. Carmen, can you hear me? Wherever you are, just hold on. Red Leader, come in. Red Leader, this is main stage. Do you read? This is Red Leader. What's happening? Over. Bout time! Lieutenant, the Fire Fries are having a barbecue in our backyard. They're searing the hull. Minimal damage so far, but in the long run, could be problematic. We're on our way. Over and out. Hey, we can't leave Carmen. Let's move. Carmen, please, come in. Carmen! I know you can hear me, Carmen. I know you can. I'm gonna come back for you. I promise.
Hazard. No, no, there's no air. Oh no! What? Firefly at three o'clock. Wait, wait. Two thirty. Incredible. Blind, you're a better shot than me. Not much of a compliment. Uh -oh. You nailed them all, Diz. The Argonite crystals boosted the transmitter circuit to 15,000 MCZs. I've sent out an SOS. If anybody's still in the area, they'll hear it. Good. We have to search for Carmen right now, Lieutenant. She's not out there, Rico. Hey, you don't know that. None of us is in any shape to go anywhere right now. <laughs> Lieutenant! Fine. I'll go myself. Rico! Carmen! What's everybody staring at? My lipstick smudged. Good to see you, Carmen. Hey, I knew hey you look what the cat dragged What happened? In. Let's just say the trees around here aren't to be trusted. Sequoia to Valley Forge. Have intercepted possible distress signal from Zephyr. We are locked on coordinates and heading to investigate. All right! <laughs> Isolation on an asteroid, as forbidding as it was bizarre, the Roughnecks' deliverance seemed at hand. Against all odds, the science vessel Sequoia had picked up our distress signal and was now en route. Roger, Sequoia, we have you on visual. Over. We are locked on your coordinates and making final approach. Anticipate touchdown in two minutes, 30 seconds. Over. Descent yeah! yeah! angle 3060, 3,000 meters in closing. Main thrusters engaged. Thrusters engaged. Sir, the asteroid seems to be shifting position. We have a problem, Zephyr. Pull out! Pull out! Nothing. I told them the asteroid's orbit was erratic. Not that erratic. The sequoia dropped right out of the sky. Is that possible? Face it, this rock wants us dead. First, we find the sequoia. Then we go about assigning blame. Sergeant, you, Tafai, Doc, and Ibanez take a heading five degrees to the left of the apparent landing site. Landing? Don't you mean crash? I mean landing. Rico and Flores, you two with me. We'll head five degrees right. Sir, shouldn't someone stay with the ship? I think Xander's shown he can look after himself. Gossard, you and Higgins see to it that we're at maximum conservation on all systems. It looks like we may be here for a while. <sighs> looks like another backtrack. It's a tree's turn to get out of the way. Flores, deploy Javelin. My pleasure. Maybe we 
We should have taken the long way around. Uh, maybe we should have stayed home and waited for the war to come out on video. to enjoy this vacation! We are fortunate to be alive, but with power and provisions in short supply, and even air and water at a premium, our prospects seem grim indeed. Ugh, our prospects seem grim indeed. I'd say that was fairly accurate. Of course, if you pitched in, instead of shooting for a posthumous Pulitzer, it might improve our chances. What is it? Sequoia's locator beacon. They're alive? No telling. Beacon's automatic, but at least there's something left of the ship. Sequoia, this is Zephyr. We have your signal. Come in, Sequoia. Nothing. And it's originating 180 degrees away from our search teams. Red Leader, this is main stage over. Main stage, this is... Come again, Red Leader. I'm not reading you. Blue team, come in. What's the word? I've picked up the Sequoia's beacon, but our search teams are out of range and heading in the wrong direction. Higgins, you coming? Well... Sander, are you sure you're up to this? Have to be. Leeches don't seem to like the fries any better than we do. The toxin B3 in the leeches. It's a bug poison. I hate to think those things are what pass for the good guys around here. In this war, you take your allies wherever you find them. Red Leader, this is Main Stage. Come in. Main Stage? Talk to me, Gossard. Over. Finally! Good news. I'm picking up the Sequoia's auto-locator beacon. Bad news. You're heading in the wrong direction. Xander and Higgins? We better join the party. Red Leader, this is Blue Team. You out there? Over. Roger, Blue Team. What's the 411? We've run into Fries, but no Sequoia. Just so happens we got a fix on her. We've both been going the wrong way. Rendezvous back at the Zephyr. Over. Of course. Over and out. How do you all feel about a little climbing? There she blows. We're at the crash site of the Sequoia. Uh, let's locate the crew first, then you can have your photo op. Okay? Base, this is Green Team. We have a visual on the Sequoia. Preparing to enter the ship. Over. Eyes wide. Over and out. Anyone in there? I'm from the Zephyr. Hold your fire! Stay there. There wasn't time. Forget it. Let's move. Carmen, stay here with Rico and Tafai. Make this ship ready to fly. Yes, sir. We 
ever get off of this fridge, I'm moving to Hawaii. Promise me I'll never see you in a grass skirt. Lock and load. Gossard, Bruto, on point. Flores, you and I will cover and clean. Doc, you and Higgins watch our backsides. Sir, don't you think a full-on assault might compromise the Major's life? A risk we have to take. If we don't recon the ship and retrieve its fuel cell, none of us is getting out of here. And neither is that bug poison. Let's move. for us. Careful where you're pointing that thing, Diz. Ditto, boys. Must be the maid's day off. Xander! Nice work. Everything's gonna be okay now, Xander. I promise. No one home. What could have happened to an entire crew? I have a pretty good idea. Permission to be spooked, sir. Later, Higgins. And I'll join you. Gently, Bruto! Fuel cells are volatile. You do know what gently means, right? No. Looks like the fire fries have put down roots, just like the ones we saw on the ledge. Incoming, six o'clock. And nine o'clock. There's no point in running. Allow me to disagree, Major. Move! Drop! Hold up! Doc, Bruto, set a bridge. Xander! 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 
What? Why?
you injured? It's okay. I'm all right. Doc will be the judge of that. Is it just me, or does this place look familiar? We hit hard, right back where we started. But at least we'd fallen as far as we could fall. Or so we thought. You don't really know how bad things are until you make them worse. Our escape from the asteroid lasted an entire two minutes and nine seconds. Carmen had made a solid crash landing. A lot more solid than the ground she'd put us down on. The asteroid itself was changing, unpredictably. The changes outside the ship were worrisome, but the changes inside were downright terrifying. Xander's temporary capture by the Fireflies had sent him over the edge, and the rest of us weren't far behind. Ammo was low, morale was lower. Sorry, pal, but you're driving me up a tree. Try to get some sleep, why don't you? Izzy's right, Xander. You need to rest. Doctor's orders. <sighs> no hull breach. She'll fly. Not without a fuel cell. <sighs> The one we borrowed from the Sequoia is shot. There's just enough fumes left in the thrusters to get us off the ground, but not to keep us there. The Sequoia radioed the Valley Forge with our position. They'll send a rescue ship. Sure, and when they arrive in a week or two, we'll be somewhat, well, dead. Point made. Find us an option. What is going on out there? Lieutenant, company's coming. Listen up, apes. We gotta keep those walking flamethrowers out of range of the ship. Make every shot count. Doc, what about the toxin B3? We blew half of it in our bug bombs. Too much of the stuff just dissipated in the atmosphere. We need to figure out a way to keep the poison concentrated. I don't know, maybe smear it directly on the ship? It won't work. The fries will be close enough to burn straight through the hull before the poison nails them. If we had the time, we might be able to set up a toxic gas barrier around the ship. How much time? Ten minutes to load the toxin, another ten to deploy, and a few seconds to pray. We'll be out of ammo by then. Lieutenant, let me have a couple of bodies. I'll buy Gus the ticks. What do you have in mind, soldier? A little bait to draw the bugs away. Maybe we can take the fries on a little bus tour around those pinnacles. There's a crack in the rocks they can't fit through. Eventually, they'll turn around and come charging down the hill, run smack into Gossard's barrier. And yarg! You two are scaring me. Colonel, your take? I, too, am willing to try. But I believe it would be wise for the rest of you not to await our return. I want you back here in one piece. Shoot up a flare when you get to the pinnacles, and we'll start baiting the bugs back this way. Did we just volunteer for a suicide mission? Yeah when we enlisted. Listen, Carmen, if I don't come back... You'll come back. Cadabra! 
I think I found my calling. Here seem to have other ideas. Where are you gonna find another girl who could shoot the eye out of a bug at 200 meters? <laughs> no place. Question is, can you shoot the eyes out of a hundred of them? Who's that? Barkalo. Unarmed and unhinged. Xander, this is Razak. Return to the ship. Return to the Zephyr. That's an order. That makes a pair. I am now also empty. Xander. No! Xander. Oh, I only turned my back for a minute. At least he took the fries with him. There's not a bug in sight. Xander knew the risks. He was a roughneck. He was a hero! I'll tell you what he was. He was the lucky one. Lucky? He took the easy way out. We get to sit here and wonder if we're gonna freeze or be roasted by Xander's pals. Mom, Dad, well, this is probably the last time I'll be able to speak to you, so... I... I love you. I... Me next. And any of you apes start laughing, I'll rip your heads off. Um, aren't you gonna tape a message, Lieutenant? The people I care about are all right here. LT, Fry's coming in. Listen up, we're gonna have to pull all remaining ammunition. Our best shooters line up first. That means Bruto, Defy, and Flores are coming with me. One of us falls, another takes his place till we run out of bugs, bullets, or roughnecks. Clear? It is clear. Let's do it. I want you two to stay back as long as possible. Keep working on a way to get this heap out of here with all of us on it. Yes, sir! Permission to object, sir. Let me go, LT. I'm as good a shot as you. Probably better, but you have other responsibilities. What could be more important than this? You made corporal. Congratulations. What's that supposed to mean? It means, should anything happen to me and Bruto, you're in charge. Hey, hey, you are coming back, sir. Don't start giving me orders, Corporal. Practice on someone else. Don't even think about it. Remember the Roughnecks. The best Earth had to offer. On my order! I do not like these odds. Live forever, Apes. Oh! Fire!
stabilizers with the thrusters? I'll try. Recycling systems have completely shut down. We're running out of oxygen fast. Well, then we better start looking for some. Snap out of it, Rico. W what are the chances we're gonna find air out there? We could just sit here and die. That is a choice. The scan suggests that green cred's corrosive. We better use the marauders. Marauders? Fine, I'm in. No, I have more time in the tin cans. And Doc, I'm gonna need your scientific expertise. Enrico. You're in charge till we get back. Rico? Didn't you hear? Our boy made Corporal. Corporal Rico? Ah, uh, I'm dreaming, right? Remember, these machines have one hour max, which means you start hoofing it back here in 40 minutes. I know marauders, Gossard. Pinochle anyone? I don't know how to play Pinochle. Nobody knows how to play Pinochle. I know how to play Pinochle. Hey, I'm getting an oxygen reading. Oxygen density increasing slightly. We're running low on marauder time. We're gonna have to come back with tubing and pump the O2 out of there. <laughs> How long have they been out there? Too long. Should we go a hunting? You smell something? The cred burned through the undercarriage seals. Power suits! We have a leak! I think the tracking computer screwed up. This cave isn't supposed to be here. I don't think this is a cave at all. The 
acetylene torch is eating up our air. I'd keep the power suits on. We may be needing them. The bugs, they understood me. We found air! We just have to go back for it. I have a theory about this little asteroid of ours. I think it's alive. <laughs> If you're watching this, it means Razak's Roughnecks have died. But perhaps not in vain if we can help you complete the mission we began. We were sent to collect samples of a naturally occurring bug poison from the surface of what we believe to be an asteroid. We now find ourselves deep underground, right in the heart of this place, which we now know is no place at all but a living bug. What do I call it, LT? The enemy. For the first time in my life, I was taping a report I hoped no one would ever see. The Zephyr lay stranded in a pool of corrosive soup. The ship's recycling system had failed, and we were nearly out of air. We'd located a possible oxygen source, but if the team in that tunnel didn't start pumping it back soon... <sighs> Xander, you have to relax. It's gonna be okay. Not okay! Well, if they find fresh air, we're ready for it. I've resealed the compressors. How is he? The same. Worse. I don't know. Maybe it's better he doesn't know what's happening.
Don't touch the edges. Something's mighty sensitive about that. Next. Easy does it, Sarge. Yeah, yeah. still have the air hose and the compressor. Let's tap that oxygen source. It's gotta be close. Then we can worry about making a graceful exit. Sergeant? Doc? Dizzy? down a shaft. Flores and Doc? Don't know. Tunnel closed up behind him. You two get Bruto back to the ship. Higgins, we're going in after him. Lieutenant, I know the terrain. Fine. You take Higgins. But I'll be on your butt in 30 minutes if this line isn't pumping O2. Colonel, set a countdown on the ship's auto-destruct mechanism in case we don't make it back with air. If we gotta go, maybe we can take this creature with us. That sound was just my own heart pounding. I thought it was your heart pounding, too. We'll have to find another way through. Found one! We just found the O2 mother load. Let's set up that compressor and start pumping. Higgins, over here. Two. It's pumping air. Doc and Dizzy, they're still alive. Maybe we all are. This is better than we could have hoped for, Diz. The solution is super saturated with O2. Like blood? <laughs> up again. Just a couple of broken ribs. Nothing to worry about, I think. Hey now, Xander. We're going to go into the cockpit. Smaller space will conserve air. I've given him another tranquilizer. Do you want one? Why? We all have maybe an hour's worth of breathable air. We might as well be comfortable. Uh, 
I have set the auto-destruct mechanism on the Code 2 setting, which is reversible. That is correct? Yeah. If airflow is established and I am not present, please remember to abort the countdown. Hmm. We have oxygen flowing in. I'm gonna monitor intake. Oh, and uh, somebody might want to turn off that auto-destruct. We should get a couple of power packs to the LT. Suits are probably running on empty. Dizzy! Doc! Ah, we can't have passed him in the tunnel. Who knows? <laughs> People go places. What's the matter with you? <clears throat> Nothing. I think I'm a little short on O2 is all. Okay, okay, okay. Your power suit's failing. I have to get you back. Uh, I don't want to go back to the ship. Everybody's gonna be grouchy. I'll tell you what. I'll stay right here. You find Doc and Diz. Then we can all go back to my place. <laughs> so that's your error. Save it. Rico, go. Sergeant. Huh? That chamber you and Doc found with the swarms of baby fries, do you think you could direct me to it? relationship. The fries feed on the bug we're inside of, and the bug burns the fries for energy. And if the bug can use the fries for fuel, so can we? If we can collect enough of them. If we can rig our own engine to burn them and not blow us up in the process. If we... Enough ifs. Colonel, Ibanez, follow Gossip. I'm going in to find our MIAs. Choices. Had so little time. What do you think? Pretty good chance of getting crushed. Absolutely no idea what's on the other side. Don't know if we're even headed in the right direction. Let's do it! The key is timing. One, two, three, four, five. Woohoo! <gasps> Stinks. You mean you're already engaged? Careful. Lieutenant's little ammo stash ain't gonna last forever. I am being careful. Wasn't talking to you, Colonel. That's enough for now. But don't let him sneak up on me. Shelby, 
Have you met Irene? <laughs> Say hi, Irene. You're breathing oxygen now, sport, so you can quit acting like an imbecile. Where's Rico? Oh, I remember him. <laughs> you know how an engine is put together. I wish I could say that about every pilot. Huh? Rico? Just be careful with that nitrogen valve. A little goes a long way. And a lot... It goes a real long way. Is it working? Maybe too well. Take a look. Those things have a lot more energy than we could have anticipated. They're gonna reach critical mass in about 30 minutes, and there's nothing I can do about it. We better try blowing out of here soon, or we're gonna blow. 30 minutes? But the lieutenant, the others, how can we know they will return? We can't. is this? Where's Xander? Gossard must have moved him into the back. I do not think he will be piloting today. Five minutes. Systems check. We can't. Come on, guys. Get back here. Ibanez, systems check. We're go, I, I think. I've never seen readings like this, though. Initiate launch sequence. We can't do this. Launch sequence initiated. Thruster preburn in one minute. Something's wrong. Xander, what are you doing? We are not for you to burn. That's liquid nitrogen. This ship will blow. Ugh. Xander!
Now they call them ice bugs. And they sleep for thousands, maybe millions of years, until a chance encounter brings them fuel for an interstellar journey of unimaginable devastation. Ice bugs destroy whole planets. And as we found out later from a tracking scan, the one we'd landed on had set a course for an unremarkable solar system, our solar system.